foxgloves. You know, digitalis. It's a wonderful plant, it really is. Easy to propagate, and it comes back every single year. Hmm. So everybody should be growing them, really. It's also very handy if you want to make some poison. Digitalis. <laughs> no, don't do it. No. Well, my foxgloves are coming to an end, and we have a remnant just there. Oh, quite sad to see my foxgloves coming to an end. Well, if you come down here, I'll just show you this foxglove. And as you can see, as it produces the flowers, they, well, they start at the, um, well, as it grows up, you get your flowers and it leaves these little seed pods behind here. Well, these aren't ready yet. No, they're going to get a bit older and they'll dry out, having created, there'll be little seeds in there. So we propagate them. And the latest flowers are still in bud up top here. You know, these ones here. They're still, you know, they're budding, ready to get ready to flower. And they'll be the last blooms on that foxglove. But that's not the end. No. So I'm going to show you what happens next to the foxgloves. Oh, really? Oh, yes, really. So we're going to come over here where we've had foxgloves, which have literally come to the end. They've had their day now. But at that stage now, we're, they'll be getting jiggy with it and, uh, yeah, we can now collect the seed. But where do we collect the seed from? Well, we have this stem here. This is a fox called Digitalis. And as you can see, where all the latest flowers are at the top. Just there, sorry, they're just there. Um, well, they're too young at this stage. You're not going to collect any seed out there, they'll be too moist. But if you come to the bottom of the plant here, as you see, there's all these little pods. Now what you can do is you can remove these little plods if you like, what I'm doing there, right on there, get that off there like so. <laughs> and maybe another one. And I'll take it over here just so I can show you. We'll bring you down in there, it's all very ad hoc, I know. So the V. So I'm gonna put you there. And this we've got this little tray. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them on there. Oh, it will fall out in my hands. And you can shake the shit the seeds out just like that. You see all those little dots there? Each one of them represents another foxglove. Yeah, there's loads of them. In every single little little pod, there's hundreds of little seeds. It's all down between my fingers, sticking to my fingers. So what you can do with that is you can store those little seeds. You can store with the pods as well if you want. Now what I have done in the past, and I still do in some cases, I just cut the whole top of the actual foxglove off and put it in a large brown paper bag to uh, you know, carry on drying out over the winter and the seeds just all fall out into the bottom of the bag. Um, and the reason why I like to use the brown paper bag is when you seal something up in like a, oh, a Ziploc, you know, freezer bag or something, the moisture gets trapped inside and they rot. So don't do that, that's a silly idea. Just, just use a, a brown paper bag and store it somewhere dry and then they won't um, deteriorate and uh, they'll keep for the fun. Yeah, now with these little seeds in here, what you can do with them is you can mix them with a bit of soil and scatter them where you want them to go, or create little clumps like little balls of uh, soil. You know, clay soil's a bit, just ordinary soil at the, at the garden with a bit of clay in it, and you can create like um, seed bombs. And then you can place those seed bombs around your property or your land or your, in your garden. Uh, maybe you're doing, I don't know, uh, a natural sort of wildfire gut, wildfire, wild flower garden um, and uh, they will propagate and because they're in the clay and what have you they'll protect the seed but also it'll attain moisture in the seed and they will grow much faster it works really well I've done it loads of times and it does really work so that's what we do with our digitalis our foxgloves and that sun is right in my eyes that it is Let's come back down here and I think it's definitely worthwhile because they're a beautiful plant and also like I said you can make your own poison. <laughs> ta -ta. Oh, don't forget, boot the like button and maybe subscribe to the channel. Oh, ta-ta.